winners. We're all about discipling one another to reach and raise the next generation to live out God's truth. We are so glad that you are a group leader at Christ Place. Uh, recently, we've talked through kind of the five things that it takes to be a group at Christ Place. Today, we want to give you a real simple way to kind of evaluate how your group is doing based on some of our values and based on some of those five things we've talked about. So uh, we want you to give yourself a score. This is one to ten on each one of these that we're going to talk through. And then take that score that you get and double it. So your max grade can be 100. So if you're taking a test, this is your Bible Fellowship class or this is your uh, Bible Fellowship group. This is your D group or whatever group you're leading. And uh, just kind of see how you're doing with your group. So let's talk through a few of these and uh, give yourself a grade and see how you're doing. Go ahead, Andrew. What's the first one? All right. So one of the qualifications to be a group at Christ Place Church is that you have to meet weekly. Well, one thing we want to... to get you to evaluate yourself on are you only meeting weekly or do you actually have authentic community time outside of your regular group time that's one of the things you can really question yourself on this week and do a harsh evaluation on yourself really see where you're at okay second question is your group a closed group or are you a friendly group that means does your group kind of feel like a click when people come in um, do you really like each other but when a visitor comes in you really don't feel like uh, you're welcoming to them or maybe people come into your class but they never come back to your group if your group's an open group so are you closed off to people or are you friendly now obviously this doesn't uh, doesn't work for a d group because those are closed groups but if you're in a bf class then this would apply what's the third one <clears throat> the next thing is are you a bookend prayer or do you break out and pray in small groups? You know, um, bookend prayer would basically be that you open up in prayer and you kind of close in prayer, maybe list off a few prayer requests for that week, which is not a bad thing, but we want you praying specifically and in smaller groups in your group time and making sure you have plenty of time for that. That's right. That's right. The best things, prayer and groups, for sure. Um, the fourth one's really important is, is your class a lecture-based class or is it a discussion-based group? Now, a lecture-based group is good for knowledge transfer, but it's not good for community. Remember, we've said this over and over. If you're not asking good questions and you're not giving your group a chance to discuss what God's doing in their heart and life, you're not giving them a chance to flesh out some of those spiritual truths. So, so are you lectured? Do you stand up for 45 minutes and talk? Or do you allow your class to get involved in discussion? And what's the final one, Andrew? Yeah. Uh, the last one is, are you centered around one personality, maybe the group facilitator, or do you have a, a passion and a heart for leadership development? You know, some of the things we need more than anything is we need more groups, we need to be multiplying, and the only way we can do that is developing new leaders. That's right. You need to be developing those leaders. So, from 1 to 100, take your score and then double it, and that's going to be your score. Tell us if you made an A. We'd love to know who's making an A on this. But, uh, hey, thank you for all you're doing in groups. Make sure you contact your group this week. Encourage them to be part of the group. We love you. God bless you. We can't wait to see you Sunday.